members only. All right, today on Hit The Mic TV, I wanna talk a little bit about membership sites and why I created mine. I've gotten a lot of questions recently about why I decided to go uh, to something like that. That's such a low cost option. It's a, it's a really easy way to get trainings for me. Uh, and why I decided to launch something like a membership site that takes so much ongoing maintenance. Uh, and it really is twofold. Uh, and, and just as a disclosure, this is gonna be really, really honest and really, really transparent. Uh, first up, I really enjoy reoccurring revenue. So if I can create content and continue to build to to continue to use it for as a revenue stream, that's good. That's amazing. It's a powerful way to fuel my business, uh, and it's a powerful way to open me up to be able to create more uh, because my business is supported by that reoccurring revenue. So a, I just really like reoccurring revenue. I think it's a really great model. Two, there are a lot of people in my audience that can't afford things like Social Pro, which is $2,000. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big investment, it's a big time investment. Uh, and they're looking for things like ongoing support. They're looking for things like you know ongoing trainings and, and a place to go where they can get the information they need really, really quickly uh, about social media and online marketing and growing their online business. So I wanted to create a resource that 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 was there for them, a place where they could go to get those answers uh, and a place they could trust to get that feedback. So I created a membership site. It really was, it really did come down to being really clear about how I wanted to serve my community uh, and who my community was, what their price point was, what they needed from me. And, and the membership site will definitely be growing. The price point will grow. The content will grow. Uh, it's not a one time, like this is the price forever. Uh, things will evolve within it, but that's why I chose to go in that direction. And that's why I chose to, to build something really, really uh, based on what I knew my customers needed because my clients were telling me that this is the resource they want. I have I had people on my email list and things like that who wanted to know a way they could work with me and get content from me and information from me and learn from me at a, at a price point that was a little easier on their budgets. And so that's why it was created. It really was a see a need, fill a need kind of a thing. And again, I really like the, from a business perspective, I really like the re reoccurring revenue. I really like um, building that into my revenue stream and my business model. It's a really powerful tool. With that said, memberships are not for everyone just because it works for someone who you really like. Um, I know there's a lot of people creating memberships right now. Does not mean that it's for everybody. You need to look at what your customer's needs are and how they want to work with you. It may be that they very clearly want you one-on-one. -on -one. That's what they need. So be sure that you're aware of that and you're serving the customers in the way you need. If you are interested in joining us backstage, which is the new membership site, head to hitthemikebackstage.com uh, and you can join us there. Uh, and if you go, there was probably a little pop-up somewhere up there just now that, yeah, use the card. It'll link to you. All right. All right. I hope to see you backstage. If nothing else, be sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, so that you can make sure that you get these new episodes right in your little watch list each and every Sunday when they go live. All right. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.